at the end of the day, it's also fine. Like you can leave Mauritius and get a job somewhere else. Somewhere else. Who says you will not study what you want to study, leave Mauritius and get somewhere else. a high paying job, mm. like a really, really good job? You, I guess you'd only limit yourself if you think like that. If it's business administration you want to study, <laughs> To be honest, <laughs> I, I mean, like, study the business administration. If it's Mauritius, you say you want to come to and stay, make sure you do everything tailored to. Don't come here and study something else that is completely off from what the market is looking for. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, my name is Theodosia, and if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, I'm sure you already know that this is the third episode of the series that I'm doing. This is the last episode, actually. <laughs> this is, I'm never going to do any video on this, please. People should not ask me any more questions. <laughs> okay, so I have Sammy here. You guys should say hi to Sammy. Sammy, say hi. Hi, guys. I really don't know much about um, your student journey, how long you've been here. How long have you been in Mauritius? Yes, so this will be my fourth year. Fourth, fourth okay. year in Mauritius. So you're yes. year 2020, yeah. 2021. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, 2021. Okay. This will be my fourth year. Okay. Yeah. So you came in like second lockdown. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> guys who were in quarantine for two weeks. In two weeks. <laughs> Oh, yeah. was, that period was epic. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you, you actually came in then as a student? Yes, I, I got a scholarship at the University of Mauritius. Okay. So I had to come in because the issue of visa, like, and then they tell you you have a month, a month to travel, mm. something like that. Yeah. So I had to come in around January there. January? Yeah. Okay. And went straight into quarantine. But the funny thing is, uh, I never attended class for, I don't know, like physical class. Yeah. So I traveled all the way to do online Online class. classes because they were still a little bit skeptical. Yeah. yeah. About it. I, re I remember. Yeah. You are the first person I'm mean, like interviewing or you know, doing a video with that went to University of Mauritius. Everybody mm. that I, ha I have been inter <laughs> interviewing have gone to Middlesex. So uh, yeah. how was it like in University of Mauritius? Mm. The experience was nice for me particularly because I had around three friends who were locals and it was easy for me to navigate the the mauritian system yeah with their with, help with their help yeah. do they speak english yes they do in we class, were taught in english in so english because yeah. i know a lot of people are like oh investor of mauritius they probably wouldn't like uh, yeah. teach in english yeah but i also did my due diligence to learn creole a little bit uh, chigit, chigit. <laughs> <laughs> What course did you What course did you study? Yeah, so I did a master's in software project management. Okay. Yeah, so if you guys have noticed, like all of these people I have been interviewing, <laughs> have studied IT, and yeah. there's sort of like a reason to that because yeah. the market, the job market, is mainly in the IT space in Mauritius. If That's you're true. looking for anything outside the IT space, is going to be. So if you've gotten to this point of this video and you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell beside the subscribe button and then you'll be notified anytime, you know, I pull up a video exactly like this one. I am currently working on a consultation with one-on-ones with you guys. Um, I did realize that a lot of people um, have been reaching out to me and I haven't been able to answer your questions because it's sort of a lot. So I want to be able to structure it right now. I want to answer you guys' questions. Um, sometimes I may not be able to, you know, make an entire video about it because it might be only you that is asking that question. Anything regarding um, your journey about Mauritius, um, studying in Mauritius, working in mauritius coming to mauritius how you feel about mauritius what you think about mauritius anything or any question you have pertaining and regarding to mauritius and you feel like i will be the best person to answer your question please click the link in the description box i'm going to put the link in the description box and as well put the link on the screen once you get to the once you get to the link you'll be able to see you know different um you know one-on-one -on -one that we could have just to be able to you know 
talk, chit chat, and you know, I'll be able to answer your questions that are peculiar to you because i know a lot of people have you know peculiar questions in as much as i try to do a lot of um videos about mauritius um relocating to mauritius coming to mauritius studying in mauritius working in mauritius there are peculiar questions that you would want me to answer and i may not necessarily you know do a video and you probably might not even be able to wait for me to do a whole video of that so if it's something you are interested in please make sure you click the link in the description box and as well look at the link on the screen and um i hope to talk to you soon let's get back let's get back into the video difficult like you are going to be one special person that God dropped from heaven <laughs> because you're probably not going to find you're going to be like the only person yeah. that would you know be in that sector yeah. when did you graduate the system in our school is you finish classes and wait for like eight months so I did graduate in 2023 October did you get your certificate immediately no oh, you get the certificate way before like the certificates way before are the out. graduation yeah but you know we're in for the pictures and yeah, <laughs> we want yeah. To, yeah. so oh. did you work as a student yeah i did part-time jobs i didn't do anything it related what kind of part-time <laughs> jobs did you do <laughs> well i started out in a water company mm -hmm. um, i did everything in that company from <laughs> production to delivery <laughs> <laughs> uh, and by the way i didn't know how it, it it works out in Mauritius. So yeah. my, I met Kenyan friends who just told me, "Hey, you want to work? Come." Come. Cool. And then I had the toughest two months of my life. <laughs> so you, you you were not working. Were you working for the purpose of like a work permit, or you were just no. working? I was just working. Honestly, I stayed all that while. I say like nine months without working because I had never met other Kenyans who would like open my eyes to the possibility Ability of, of you working. Yeah. Moved from the water company job and worked in some hotels and I I have to say that's where I met some of the coolest Mauritians mm -hmm. in, uh, I, in my life. Mm -hmm. They were friendly, they were kind, they were, yeah, so. And you were the, still a student then when you were Yes, working. still okay. a student, still a student. And then finally I went into an IT recruiting company. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. But I would, I would still do two jobs. I'd do the IT in, in, the, in the day, day hotel, and in the night. hotel in the night. Yeah. So when you were doing the part-time job, did you feel like one of the part-time job wasn't giving you enough money mm -hmm. that you needed to do two part-time jobs? Or you just wanted to literally just keep yourself busy? busy. Mm, I think it's more of the latter because, uh, well, the money is never enough, honestly. Mm -hmm. See, if you're doing it with a clique of friends, it's it, different. It's, it's fun, yeah. yeah. So I'd go by myself to Iben every Monday, mm -hmm. Tuesday, sorry, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three days in a week. Mm -hmm. But then my friends would still be doing the hotel room. Mm -hmm. So I would come back home and I'm like, hey. What do you do? Let me go join these people. That's an extra buck. I think this is an important question for people who are watching. The hotel jobs. Mm -hmm. I know you're working as a student, but yeah. was there a possibility of them giving you a work permit? Or did they give other people work permits as well? Not that I know of, honestly. Okay. Uh, your, your other Kenyan friends? Yeah. Oh, they were all just students. doing side hustles. Yeah. Yeah. All students. Okay. Uh, I've never heard of anyone who transitioned permanently so a full-time no. hotel job right no, never. okay so in all of these part-time jobs which one had like the highest pay if you're comparing the number of days i work and the amount i get the it recruiting paid more oh, okay but uh, now that i used to work in the hotel more mm -hmm. like every day except the weekends mm -hmm. i would get more money from the yeah, because the hotel the hotel job pay you like how many hours you work in a yeah, day. Yeah, shifts. Shifts. So yeah. it's on shift basis. Yeah. So the, the more, more you do, work, the, the more you get. get. Yes. Okay, makes sense. So like walk me through how you, you know, left all these side hustles mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, you know what? I need to get an actual job. Uh, the IT recruiting job was only three months. It was like a three months contract. Oh, okay. When it ended, I had a lot of time during the day. There was a lot of time to kill. And the school advertised uh, that there was a company that was holding a fair in school. So I thought... Should we you guys see that? I've been mentioning fairs in my different videos. Fairs are actually 
very important. I don't know. Yes, yes. I think Mauritius is a little bit secluded when you're not like involved with other people. Yeah. So like make sure you always check, you know, LinkedIn. Most of these companies put their information on LinkedIn. If there's going to be a fair, no matter how stressful it is, cool. go for the fair. Yeah, you can also use that as like, you know, ground base for having an interview, even if it doesn't go well. Yeah. You kind of know the questions that they're going to ask you. Yeah. You kind of know what they are looking for. And then you're able to, you know, structure yourself for the next fair or for the next interview that you have. Mm -hmm. I went to the fair and then they advert they say that they were having speed interviews. I don't know if you know these things you just as long as you have your CV, you yeah. meet a recruiter, she asks you some questions mm -hmm. and tells you there on the spot whether you are eligible or, or not. not. Yeah. The recruiter looked at it and she was like, Oh, this is really good. Do you want to walk with us? <laughs> like, eh, okay. <laughs> that easy. Is uh, was that your current place? Yeah, that's where I'm walking okay. right now. Yeah. She was like, it's good, I'll, I'll forward it, but if you're interested, I, I would do it. Yeah. And I said, please, quickly, send it, send it. You know the funny thing? Mm -hmm. The first person mm -hmm. that I interviewed yeah. got a job through a job fair. Oh, yeah? The second person also got the job through a job yeah, fair. Exactly. That's the way I think and we've cracked the matrix. This is <laughs> <laughs> three, three is the deal, right? Yeah. This, and I feel like... It, it wasn't the first were, job fair they went to. They had mm -hmm. gone to different job fairs. Okay. You know, gotten rejected countless. And they're like, you know what, let me just, you know, continue Try trying. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it was still through a yeah. job fair. It works. I honestly believe it works. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I did the interview and then a few weeks or days later, it has to be days, yes, mm -hmm. I got an email. Um, from them and saying, hey, we want to schedule an interview. It, it didn't feel like an interview for me. Because we were just Talk having like a, a conversation. conversation. Exactly. Yeah. We, we spoke. We, I cracked jokes for the first time in my life. I cracked yeah. jokes in an interview. Yeah. And the manager was like, okay, I think you're a good fit. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to you. Let me funny thing. When yeah. I had my same interview, uh -huh. it was like an hour long. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. We just were talking about different things like food, And you, weather, you enjoy yourself. You yes. Know, because they already have your CV. They already, yes. they already, they they already want know, you. Yeah, <laughs> if, you're, if you're a good fit. Yeah. But the story starts after. <laughs> The story always starts after, literally. After getting accepted. Mm -hmm. So remember, I am a student mm -hmm. who hasn't graduated but has finished the coursework. Yeah. Yeah. But when I say finish the coursework is I've done my last exam. I'm waiting for the result. The result. So yeah. you need to submit to your project and then get your final result. By the time I was doing the interview, I had submitted okay, you had my submitted. project. Yes. Okay, so you were waiting for the results. For the results. Okay. Only. Okay. And... Um, I don't want to badmouth them, but uh, it wasn't it so time. I -O. So the the process, they put my, because they take your documents to EDB. In the documents required for doing mm. an occupation, because was it an occupational permit? Yes, yes, it was an occupational permit. In process of doing an occupational permit, they need mm. your certificate. Everything. <laughs> and then in some cases... Mm. I know that, okay, if you say your certificate is not ready, mm -hmm. they need a signed letter from, the from your school yeah. stating that, oh, this person do finish from <laughs> here. <laughs> and the person we get is the results in XXX. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was not hired based on my master's degree. I was hired based on my bachelor's degree. When did you finish up? I finished my bachelor's in 2017. Basically had the experience, yeah. and so they were employing him based on the experience. Okay. So they could now use his BSc and not his master's. Yes. So the BSc and the experience before, because in Kenya I had worked for a few years. Mm -hmm. They needed my certificates. I had a problem. My name, I'm not going to say my full name. Yeah, don't <laughs> But I have three names, but they're in a different order order ah, in my passport okay. and in my um, okay. birth certificate. I, in a different I, get, order. I get what you mean. So like, let's say last name is first and then in the other document, yes. like last name is last. Yeah, yeah. like my, my mom had not made up her, her <laughs> mind <laughs> how she it's wants it to go. Yeah. Yeah. So with that in mind, I had mm. to swear an affidavit. Mm, same. I had to go to the... Uh, actually, I, I went with two friends to a lawyer sworn off a David so that I can add it on top of that. You did that here in Mauritius? Yes, and then they rejected it. <laughs> <laughs> they said you have to do it in, in your, your country. country. Yeah. yeah. So it was easy. I, I have a lot of contacts and I could get that done quickly. Mm -hmm. 
I got the documents. I think uh, apart from that, it was uh, medical. Mm -hmm. They took me for a medical test. They were nice. They paid for everything. Yeah. So you guys, some companies will pay for you. Some companies will tell you you pay, pay for and then because I mean the OP itself is expensive. Yes. It depends on how many years they are giving. The minimum is three years. Like the minimum a company wants to give you is three yes, years, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's about eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So. If they're spending eight hundred dollars, you might as well be able to just do your medicals. Let yes. everybody <laughs> rest. <laughs> the most important thing now is, did you? When was your student permit supposed to expire? Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> my student <laughs> permit was supposed to expire in twenty twenty three January. Yeah. I had the option of extending it until my graduation date. Mm -hmm. But remember, now as after they submitted the documents. Mm -hmm. Um, the the EDB said that we cannot hire him since he has an, an ongoing active, yes, yes you have an student permit because you cannot have two permits at the same, at time. The same time. Yeah, the only way was the school to cancel the, the yeah. student permit. But goodness, they refused to cancel the student well, permit. Why did they refuse to cancel the student permit? Because I had not received my results. Result. Yeah, shall, I mean, anyway. Uh, yeah. I I, I thought. That was not very smart. Yeah, because <laughs> I was studying to get a job. I got right. a job. Why are you stopping me? Yeah. So okay. I had to wait for it to completely elapse. Oh wow! And they were nice. Remember, I did this interview in August. So August, August twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. October August. There, I actually had received a hiring letter for October. Mm -hmm. But then, because of the permit issue, I had to wait. Uh, what were you doing with yourself for five months? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the hotels. <laughs> <laughs> the hotels came through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's weird because, I mean, I'm already here. <laughs> Might as well just start the process. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's the way Mauritius works yeah. most times because yeah. I know that they asked me to go home yeah. as well. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's kind of like a norm, especially when your visa has expired sometimes yeah. it's peculiar to the individual sometimes yes. the individual doesn't even have to leave yes. but most times they will tell you to leave and re-enter mm -hmm. you can pay for your trip your company can pay for you they will tell you okay in this case because we're really close to madagascar mm -hmm. go to madagascar go, yeah. it's cheap it, yeah. and then spend two days or one day and then you'll come back right yeah. because all you need to do is just leave mm -hmm. and re-enter it's only logical right because mm -hmm. They are not responsible for you leaving, Living, yeah. but they are responsible for you Come coming on, in. Yeah. Because it's your obligation, based on your student visa, yes, to leave to when leave. your student permit yes, expires. Mm. Well, I was lucky in that sense, because remember I told you I was on a scholarship? The DAAD scholarship. Shout out. Those guys are really nice. <laughs> yeah. So they, it was a full scholarship. So uh -huh. they paid for you coming and you going. Okay. Back, your steep and research, whatever. Okay. So I got the cash to go back to go back scholarship and then coming back i i flew twice without paying <laughs> single okay. penny lucky yeah. you okay yeah. it was nice when when you come back you get the business, business visa. visa yes, yes. Yeah. but for nigerians you get a tourist visa <laughs> <laughs> for nigerians now you get a tourist visa when i came in i so, came in on a business visa as well, well but they kind of stopped that mm -hmm, per se mm -hmm. it's still the same thing right because Either ways, you probably still have to extend yeah. if your um, occupational permit is not so out yeah. yet. He already started the process mm -hmm. and then he was requested to leave. He yeah. didn't just up and leave. Yes. Right? He was requested to leave. The process was already ongoing. Yeah. And at the process where they need, okay, they are going to review your documents. Um, they're probably going to give you an appointment. Mm -hmm. They will ask you to leave and re-enter so that they can, you know, start the second phase yeah. of the whole process. Yeah. Did you have to extend? No, I did not have to extend. Because you got your appointment yeah. super fast. Yeah. Uh, that was the only missing uh, link, the, the student permit thing. Uh, All the other things were okay. So I think in three weeks, oh no, less than three weeks, in two weeks, I think. I mean, it's fair because you already had to wait like five Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. You already, had to wait like, you already had to wait like five months. Yeah. It's, it's really, um, uh, how do I put takes it? Takes your patience. Yeah, it, I mean, <laughs> for the company as well to even yeah. be patient to want to employ Still you after to. five months. Yeah. 
Oh, that's that's nice of them. Yeah. yeah. Whether it's a big company, whether it's a small company, I know some other people who, you know, have already started the process yeah. and, you know, in the middle of it, they have one issue or the other. Maybe it's yeah. their old permits. Maybe it's like certificates in your case. One or two other things. And they're actually really, really patient to mm. wait. And I mean, you were... I'm sure you were always keeping communication. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a million emails between <laughs> myself and Hitchcock. Because I feel like once you once you lose that communication oh, with that's them, it. like yeah. they f- they forget, forget about, about you. you yeah. yeah. So you keep checking on the status, but they were also nice. They kept checking on me. So f- for occupational permit, whether you have experience, whether you don't have experience, the company has to also prove why they are employing you. Yes. It kind of experience. helps that you have experience. Mm-hmm. It's in the same sector. Yeah. It's not in a different sector. Yes. Like, you're not going into farming. No, <laughs> yeah. no. So it's better to get experience before applying for this well, job. Well, yes. I mean, if you're a student, it's good to, like, you know, work in a hotel, you know, to be able to get money. But when you're saying that, okay, if you have maybe two years, three years, you probably can't do that. Yeah. But you can do, I mean, for you, you were doing three jobs at the same time. Two, yeah, but yeah. Right, mm-hmm. and say for example the IT recruitment, recruitment. you yeah. could be able to tailor that in your CV. Yes, of course. <laughs> do, do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Than yeah. you know putting it like oh you know you work in a hotel, you wouldn't be able to tailor it to the role that you know you're you are yeah, yeah, applying. So it's always best to. Even if they are paying you stipend, like I've literally worked in a place where they paid me three thousand five hundred. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's fine. It, yeah, as long like, as it goes into as my long, CV. As long as it, it's gonna go into, and it's going to be in my CV forever. <laughs> yes. If I'm gonna I be in this, there. yeah, like yeah. I worked there, mm. I had an employment there, and you mm. can always tailor it into. It. That's literally what I tell people. Yeah. Do it three months, six months. It's an internship. It's a contract. Whatever. Do mm. it. You're 20 hours in a week. Find something else to do in, in the night if you yeah. need the extra cash. Yeah. But if you're setting that you want to work in Mauritius, definitely. And your cost matters a yeah. lot. Like, I do know someone who did business management in Mauritius, like yeah. masters. Yeah. But wasn't able to get a job because most of the jobs, you know, yeah. are basically like social jobs, yeah. HR jobs and all of that. And you have to speak French. Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, so if you can't speak French, yeah. it will be really, really hard. Yeah. And even for, you know, people like you, you're able to get it because that role specifically did not require you to speak French. Yes. I know that there are also IT roles that require you to speak, speak French to speak French as mm, well. So true. just look for the one that suits you and just apply, to be yeah. honest. I figured out that a lot of people do not know that there are Africans who have actual work permits. Yeah. occupational permits and whatnot in Mauritius. They yeah. feel like almost everybody is illegal, mm-hmm. which is not the case. Yes. And as you guys can see, he's not Nigerian, mm-hmm. so... Wait, can they say <laughs> they, I, I should zoom <laughs> in. He's, he's not Nigerian and he has... Most the, of my and, teammates are Nigerian. Exactly, most actually. of your teammates are Nigerian. So the choice is literally yours. The, yeah. Literally, that's why I'm putting out this information for everybody to be able to know what the process is, how you can get the process. So if people feel like maybe previous schools that I've mentioned before is expensive, I don't think... University of Mauritius is expensive. No, no. But I do know that it's a little bit difficult to, you know, apply because, yeah. you know, they don't respond as much. But yeah. if they don't respond, they will eventually respond. At some point. At some point. Make sure you try to call, send emails. There's no way if I send 100 emails, you don't reply to one of them. Make sure that you are going, <clears throat> you are doing a course that you would be able to get a job in Mauritius. Yeah. And if you can't, at the end of the day, it's also fine. Like, you can leave Mauritius and get a job somewhere else, somewhere else yeah. that is much more... I don't know. I feel like people think people with OP mm. permits, they pay them like 150000 or something. No, not necessarily. Not no. necessarily. Do you get? Like, yeah. who says you will not study what you want to study, leave Mauritius and get somewhere. a high-paying job, mm. like a really, really good job? Yeah. Who said? Who says that? There's <laughs> like there are no rules to these things. You, I guess you'd only limit yourself if you think like that. Yeah, you only limit yourself if you yeah. think like. So if it's business administration you want to study, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I I mean like study the business administration, mm-hmm. go somewhere else and find what somewhere. you can use to. 
<laughs> if it's Marisha just say you want to come to and stay, make sure you do everything tailored to no come here and study something else that is completely off from what the market is looking for. Yeah. You'll just be depressed at the end of the day. You feel like you wasted your money in school. Your time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Um, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you for having me. It was fun. Yeah. I was I'm planning as, to do this. For, right. <laughs> <laughs> we will be rescheduling. Yeah. We will be rescheduling. I'll, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you have any questions, please put your questions in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao. Bye.